The calm flow of River Narok during the dry season can fool many, especially the young people, that the river is harmless and a nice place for photography. A visit to the river at the spot between the Maasai Mara University and GK prisons shows huge stones left scorching under the sand as the water levels are low due to the prolonged dry spell. This is River Narok. However, the river is not as friendly as it looks, as it has claimed tens of people, among them university students and prison officers. Masai Mara University Dean of Students Mohamed Aden confesses that the river has claimed the lives of several varsity students who innocently go for picnics along the river. Aden, who spoke to Switch TV in his office a few days after a 19-year-old man drowned in the river, laments that four students had drowned in the period of two years he had been in office. It was on a Saturday, so they went for a picnic. Uh, they were a group, but the unfortunate happened as he was swimming. It is at that point they realized their colleague was drowning and attempts to save him were futile as he sank deep into the water not to be seen. The river is really claiming lives and there is need for public sensitization on the black spots so that uh, the public is well informed. It was the year 2019 when another university couple was picnicking along the river before they both drowned while attempting to walk along the river. That was not swimming, he was crossing the river. Unfortunately, he slipped off and um, the place was a bit deep. It, had, it, it took us uh, three days to retrieve the body. The institution is also working with community leaders and elders to try and inform the members of public on the dangers of swimming or even crossing the river. Christopher Kemboi, a diver who has been trained by the Kenyan Navy, has retrieved all the bodies from the river, saying in the last two years he had retrieved 14 bodies, all which had drowned in various points of River Narok, saying he has also saved six other people from drowning. Diving tears. This was as and you in and let a challenge. Mana Gujaribu Kangalia Maji, Aukuni, Seto. Love of visibility, Amaji. The 34 year old man who was born in Kesas area was in Gishu County, calling on the county government to establish a well equipped Department of Disaster Management with professional divers whom together could help in rescuing people from drowning or retrieving bodies. On his part, the Narok County Police Commander Kizito Motoro confirmed that at least four cases of drowning are being reported every week in the county. Visa mekuwa kama ine tano kwa wiki moja. So, ningeomba wanainju wenye wawe makini. According to a report from the World Health Organization, WHO, 40 people drown in the world every hour, three of them being young people. Kenya is placed at position 19 Mane among 172 mai. countries of the world with the highest rate of accidental drowning with a rate of 9.85 out of every 100,000 people, which is about 10%. Daniel Karioki for Switch TV.